So many of us are operating from the core belief that I'm not enough and I never will be. And then we wonder why this keeps getting reflected to us because when we're operating from that place, we've actually got our focus on it, whether it's conscious or unconscious, we it's so deeply ingrained that it's actually rippling out into all areas of life. And so we are attracting situations or people into our lives that are validating that core belief. And we tend to be in a space of seeking that external validation, trying to get that love, that acceptance, that belonging from outside of ourselves because deep down we don't feel like we're worthy of it or we're good enough to receive it. And until we actually integrate that wound and release that belief and replace it with something that's empowering, we're going to keep experiencing the same thing. And so in my masterclass, Conscious Connections, this was really what we delved into in day one. Then we came into day two and we went even deeper and looked at why are we getting emotionally triggered? Where is the core root of that trigger? And how can we move through those triggers with more ease and confidence? And I asked this question that was really, really powerful. And I said, how would your life change if you were able to master overcoming emotional triggers, so if you were able to move through a trigger instantaneously in the moment it was arising, how would that change your life? How would that change your relationships? What would you be experiencing in that kind of reality? And just starting to open the mind up of like, what would change in my life if I had this unshakable self-love, this acceptance of myself, this deep sense of belonging and not needing anything in my external world to shift in order for me to have that? I get to choose to have that now. I no longer have to wait for someone else to say, you're worthy of it. You're good enough. You're this, you're that. Because even if they did, it wouldn't change a thing. It wouldn't change that deeply ingrained belief those roots are so deep we have to go within and pluck them out from from the root and really get to the core of it and then start to actually validate ourselves to declare our own worthiness and this is the first step that's going to shift your entire experience when it comes to emotional triggers another piece to this we went really deep into it on the on the masterclass last night was the power of compassionate curiosity and the shifting from self-judgment to compassion and curiosity exploring like what is here for me when I'm getting triggered what is this what is this bringing up for me what am I making it mean about me and how can I have more compassion in that moment how can I get really curious about what can I receive from this experience? How can I learn, grow, evolve? And it just shifts the entire experience and I go deep into my own personal journey with all of that as well. Tonight is day three and we're going to be delving into conscious communication, boundary setting and how to confidently express yourself, your needs, your desires. That's really going to shift how you interact with others, the relationships you have and just really allow you to have that deeply connected life and those beautiful, nourishing, harmonious relationships. Whether you're in a relationship with an intimate partner or not, we all have relationships in our life. And it's a big part of being human is having that connection, having those people um, that love us and that we love and that we connect with. But if we're constantly in conflict and getting triggered by each other and not really able to be fully ourselves, we're not really getting the most out of being human and being in relationship. And it really prevents us from having those deep connections, the feeling really fulfilled and seen and heard and valued. The thing is, it comes back to how fully can you be yourself? with those with yourself when you're with others how fully can you be your true authentic self and if you're struggling to show up as 
like fully as yourself and you're wearing masks or, or dimming your light or shutting yourself down in certain ways and trying to like mold yourself in a way where you feel like oh this version of me will be loved and accepted and belong but the real me won't and so I'm going to shop as this other version well the thing is you never really get the love the acceptance and the belonging that you're craving in that moment um, or that you're craving from deep down because you're not showing up as you so even if they accepted this other version of you it's never going to fill that void of knowing well I'm not really accepted because I'm not really being me so just something to to ponder on and if this is resonating for you and you want to learn more you want to see what's possible for you how you can start to transform your relationship to self and in turn your life and your relationships with others reach out send me a dm jump in the masterclass. the replays are there available for a limited time i would love to support you on this journey and share with you what i have learned on this experience of being human.